Moving on, we have invited talks from Professor Arani S. R. Srinivasa Rao and Professor Sushmita Datta. Arani S. R. Srinivasa Rao is a professor at Medical College of Georgia, Augusta University, USA. He will deliver a talk on Rao distance and conformal mapping. Sushmita Datta is a professor, University of Florida, USA. She will talk on can single cell RNA sequence analysis help personalized medicine. I now request Professor Stephen Haslett from Massey University, New Zealand to chair this session. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I'll keep this very brief um, in order to keep the time. Um, but I'd like to ask uh, Professor Anne uh, Srinivasa Rao to, to talk on uh, his talk, which is Rao Distance and Conformal Mapping. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thanks to the chairperson for the introduction and uh, everyone involved at All Ups 2020 to celebrate birth centenary of Professor C.R. Rao, who is a living legend of statistics. And I want to thank uh, Professor Manjunath Prasad for his kind invitation and uh, his and all his team members hard work to make this a great event. Myself, Arne Srinivas Rao, I'm a professor in the Medical College of Georgia, Augusta, and the director for the laboratory for theory and mathematical modeling in the Medical College of Georgia. Myself, I've been associating with uh, Professor C.R. Rao for the past five years for editing the, for joint editing uh, handbook of statistics published by Elsevier. We have so far edited uh, five books together and a uh, few more books also planned. And it's a great experience to work with him. And uh, the name Professor C.R. Rao, I first time came to know from my undergraduate teacher who also trained me in the Math Olympiad his name is uh, Sri Peri Sastri in the city town Vijayanagaram in Andhra Pradesh. Professor Peri Sastri was almost five to six years junior to Professor C.R. Rao when uh, Professor Rao was uh, in the high school and uh, at the Avian College, Vishakapatnam. And he used to mention, my teacher used to mention uh, about, uh, used to mention about Professor C.R. Rao's uh, great contributions various lemmas, theorems, but I, we have no idea as a student those days what it were, what they were. And uh, my, my teacher himself uh, done fun, uh, fundamental contributions in um, um, odd perfect numbers, I mean number theory, various aspects of number theory. And uh, he still lives in the uh, age of 95 in my hometown Vijayanagaram. And uh, he, he, my, my, I used to mention about the great works of Professor Rao. But then when I was at ISA Kolkata, and working with Professor J.K. Ghosh and other uh, faculty who was to directly involved with Professor C.R. Rao. Then I realized the, you know, the various uh, uh, works of C.R. Rao, how great they were, how, the, how they actually made fundamental contributions and various events, you know. And the first time I met Professor Rao, uh, you know, in 2007, 2008. And all the recollections have been documented uh, in the article by Efron, Amari, Rubin, Myself and Cox in the in the David Cox. I mean, this all this article are co-authors. Um, I mentioned the co-authors' name uh, names, and then they all they, this article uh, published in the magazine Significance, published by Royal Statistical Society and American Statistical Association. And it's a great honor for me, really, to you know to closely know Professor Rao through his collaborations, and how great human being he is, and he's a very happy person. He respects a lot all his colleagues, all his students. He's a cheerful person. That's what I learned because you know, he's very happy. He has no stress. He is just, just lives a happy life. 
the respects is a family members you know last time i met very recently i met um, almost a year and a half ago in his home in buffalo new york and then i found that you know he's the same you know same cheerful person when he used to visit isa kolkata in the early 2000s mid 2000s same same lovely happy person so this is a great experience you know to the, know about him and to you know uh, various uh, you know when we talked about various things about his uh, school days his working in england his friends you know he's, he's you know the this is a, i mean uh, i'm really lucky to know him so closely to uh, work in on our various uh, handbooks and my particular talk is related to um, raw distance and very recently um, some of his uh, uh, works have you know that uh, i try to work on the some different aspects of complex analysis understanding the conformality the angle preservations uh, how this you know the raw distance can be used to various applications in engineering sciences and the computer sciences so my talk is uh, mostly about uh, that i will briefly describe the raw distance and then the the new uh a uh, new uh, relationship with the raw distance with the new interrelation with the raw distance with the complex analysis conformality and then uh, i will just briefly you know i won't go in detail but i will just briefly describe those things and then uh, an application of that also we demonstrated myself an article with uh, steven kranz um in the um, it came up in a cell press journal that we day where we demonstrated about the virtual tourism where we how we can apply this new techniques uh, for information geometry with the conformal you know marriage between these two fields how do we can apply to the uh, virtual tourism so uh, and then once again i want to thank all the uh, participants and the organizers and all the distinguished speakers for this two day event and uh, i want to congratulate uh, center for advanced mathematics at mahim manipal institute of technology and uh, everyone involved and at the end of the talk uh, i'm going to soon start my slides and at the end of the talk i'm going to take questions i'll be happy to take any questions thank you very much uh, i will start my slides now uh, now coming to the organization of the talk i will describe briefly the raw distance a little bit of uh, technicalities and then um, i will explain the conformal mapping and then some overview of the applications uh, which uh, newly i published the new proposals on the how we can combine these two we all know that you know the, the foundation uh, for the information geometry or the raw distance occurred uh, from this uh, article in 1945 published by professor c r rao which was communicated by late uh, professor r c bose another stalwart indian statistician and that article published uh, 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 that i mean uh, i think professor uh, late professor r c bose he was a editorial member so he communicated the article of uh, professor c r rao um, to the journal bulletin of character mathematical society but in the same year 1945 professor rao published uh, eight articles at least according to the math scientist uh, eight art, eight different articles some of them are related to number theory and various other aspects of parameter estimation hypothesis testing many things he published and then uh, as i mentioned in the introductory remarks uh, um professor afron uh, professor amari professor rubin myself arni rao and uh, professor david cox uh, we all published uh, an article in the magazine significance uh, in which also you know the importance of the rao's uh, uh, work uh, um, you know how the how that is relevant today and the editor chose a very nice title for the our recollections he put a title called uh, title uh, as it is uh, written there cr rao century and in, in the same article i um, mean the same issue you know the when he picked up editor picked up various uh, quotations and uh, efron felt that rao was really, really a fisher student that was that the quotation picked up and explained efron recollected about uh, recollections about uh, his uh, own experience of you know um seeing professor rao's book 
when he was a student and then you know amari thought that you know amari thought how um japanese traditions think uh, rao is a godfather of japanese traditions and don rubin uh, explained how uh, <clears throat> uh you know the how john tuki uh, other other great uh, traditions of his time uh, he professor rao's time thought that you know professor rao would be one day jewel statistics and then he picked a uh, he picked a quotation from my recollections as the rao's ideas continue to find new applications today and david cox uh, uh, thought you know how he is meeting how he came to know the um, about uh, cr rao when uh, he was working with uh, ronald fisher so and then uh, the, i organized this, i mean i was cha- i chaired a session uh, in the dcs jsm 2020 where uh, professor afron professor rubin professor cox all three were the invited speakers and there was an invited session special invited session organized at uh, jsm 2020 we just held uh, a few months ago which was virtual and the still the, the entire session was available online those who are not seen can be seen so there are this uh, this uh, particular ma- article in the magazine significance is actually you know the uh, that's what the a summary of this the talk summary of the session and the same issue of the significance uh, to um, argentinian uh, 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 scientists they wrote a brilliant article in a non technical accessible way on uh, the big ideas of uh, raw distance and the uh, kramer raw inequality and in, i took a couple of quotations from them that article and then in which they mentioned that you know in 1945 cr raw broke the ground with a manuscript that introduced inequality relations which set limits on the accuracy attainable in the estimation of parameters characterizing a probability density and they also say that Rao also derived distance between uh, probable densities, introducing concepts from Riemannian geometry into statistics. And then, you know, official information in conjunction with the Kramer-Rao inequality and Rao's distance are now important tools in the study of the foundations of both quantum mechanics and statistical physics. By this, I mean the, these are the quotations. I mean they are the things I picked from the Plaschen and Plaschen. You know. and if you see look at the, the little bit of um, technicalities on the raw distance you know in general in math uh, if you have this um, say summation a and b n if you let if there are if there are two convergent uh, sequences of, of positive numbers uh, and then uh, summation a n greater than or equal to summation b n then we know that the summation a n multiplied log b n by a n less than or equal to 0 and uh, If a n less than or equal to one and b n less than or equal to one, then we know that the same summation what you see here on the bottom, twice the summation of that would be greater than or equal to summation of a n multiplied by a n minus b n whole square. And this this is this equality this inequality also I mean the known as the information in inf- information theory the I mean inequalities of information theory, and uh, Professor C R Rao was you know before Professor Maranabis nurtured him into the statistician and you know. he introduced the, i mean introduced statistics to professor sir rao and made him to study one year course in collect and all that story we know how professor maharabis encouraged him so before that actually professor rao was uh, uh, you know taught by brilliant uh, mathematicians at andhra university and he's uh, one of his direct teacher uh, who taught him at the uh, andhra university was a direct student of who did a phd on gh hathi after ramanujan and then he returned from cambridge uh, at, at the time hardy was in oxford so from oxford directly vijay raghavan came to andhra university and then he was direct teacher to cr rao that's why cr rao was a lot of influence on number theory initially started and then deeper mathematical ideas he looked at statistics in a different way and then another inequality if you see that fn these two are purely mathematical inequalities and then the cr rao you know use it in several of the, i mean this sort of arguments and then he visualize it in a different way the information on the random variable how that is carried if you simply if you take two continuous function f and g which are non negative integrable functions and then with the measure mu we know that you know under certain conditions the integral of f log f by g d mu greater than or equal to 0 and the proofs of that you know these two these two can be related 
similar arguments of uh, n equal to 1 in the previous slide, n equal to 2 in this one can be, and the Hellinger, inequal, Hellinger distance also related to this particular inequality. And you know, the, that's what, you know, as I mentioned, uh, he was looking, uh, Rao was looking uh, the distances in uh, all these things in a different way uh, than it, is, it was seen prior to his articles. So uh, he was uh, seeing that, you know, they are, to what extent they you know information carried by the random variables, information carried by the observed data, all these things. So I took this quotation from his book. And similarly, the random variable, you know, will have maximum from when the random will have a maximum information and then if there is a unique observation with probability one corresponding to each value of the parameter. So these kind of beautiful ideas because he, he came from a different background and then, you know, he looked at the articles, he looked at the information of statistics, you know, how this information has been carried, what level of information, random variable transfers to the next stage, all these things, all these kind of things, uh, he was looking at the statistics in a different way. And then the, the, the famous raw distance, you know, in, in a nutshell, if you have the, I mean, you consider distance between the random variables or parameters, theta one, theta two, and so on. Um, between, I mean, distance between two distributions uh, uh, with a set of random, I mean, the two distribution of, two distributions with parameters, theta one, theta two, and so on, and theta one plus small deviation, delta theta one, comma, theta two plus delta theta two, and so on. Then uh, Rao obtained a quarter differential metric using Fisher information, Fij. And which later the double summation f i j theta i theta delta theta i delta theta j, which is known as popularly known as raw distance. And you know, hundreds of articles are online. You can see, you know, the I quoted some of the uh, citations here. But you know, uh, you can you can see you know, uh, in fact, Ra himself wrote a Sierra himself wrote a scholar PD article, a uh, very easily accessible article. It's available online in 2000, uh, early 2000. So he wrote an article that's still there. And then now coming to conformal mapping. Well, the, I mean, the, if we consider two uh, complex numbers, Z1, Z2, um, and then the argument of Z1, Z2 equal to argument of Z1 plus argument of Z2 plus 2 pi n, Z1, Z2, where 2 pi n1 is defined. I mean, you take three values, minus one, zero, plus one depending on the range of, uh, depending on where the argument of Z1 and argument of Z2, summation of that lies in pi to two pi or minus pi to pi or minus two pi to minus pi. And they carefully consider the equality versus the inequality. So uh, we know the theorem from complex numbers. So the idea of the raw distances, um, I propose that, you know, this sort of distances can be used uh, in the virtual tourism that I was going to explain. I'm going to highlight uh, briefly. So I thought that, you know, when we, because as we know that, uh, I mean, there was coronavirus and COVID. So during this period, you know, I developed an um, algorithm for the using artificial intelligence and uh, mathematical modeling framework, how we can use this for identification of coronavirus. And then we know that a lot of uh, disturbance in the travel industry, airlines industry. So I was being consulted by the airlines industry on various, um, issues of identification of coronaviruses, how we can protect the passengers. At that time, I thought, you know, because of the airlines industry you know, uh, is in a big uh, mess, um, you know, and then because uh, I thought of you know, how about we had a virtual tourism. And then, you know, that's, that is how they you know the conformal geometry, conformal mapping, and then I thought of preserving the information geometry, these two. Then, you know, I, com I collaborated with uh, my collaborator of the COVID, uh, and then we jointly published. So, Simple, you know, simple ideas of that. Uh, I mean, the easy, easily accessible way. I will like, try to explain in the slides here. And suppose we consider a gamma as a function from a comma b on the real line to a r n, the vector valued function, com uh, continuous on a compact interval a comma b subset of r. And then imagine like that, <coughs> real line and the mapping to gamma t. A gamma is called a path, we all know that. And then the function, functional values of gamma t trace out a set of points in Rn. It's called the graph of gamma. And now suppose G1, G2 be two graphs corresponding to the two smooth paths, gamma 1, gamma 2. So gamma 1, gamma 1, gamma 2. Here gamma 1, gamma 2 are the complex value functions on the complex plane. Suppose gamma 1 is, uh, is 1 to 1 on an interval and gamma 2 and 1 to 1 on interval a to gamma b2. 
and let uh, it, uh, pick a point t1 in a1 a1 comma b1 point t2 a2 comma b2 and let us assume gamma t1 equal to gamma to gamma 1 t1 of ga equal to gamma 2 t2 equal to c and then you know you know that gamma 1 dash t1 not equal to i mean suppose you assume that you know gamma 2 this to gamma 1 dash the derivative at gamma t1 derivative at t2 is not equal to zero and the angle from g1 g2 at c is the argument of gamma 2 dash t2 minus argument of gamma 1 dash t1 the angle the angle from g1 to g2 is defined as argument of gamma 2 dash t2 minus gamma argument of gamma 1 dash t1 and later later if you assume that f dash t not equal to zero then there is a disk with center c at that point c and uh, say the disk bc let us call the disk as bc on which f is one to one hence uh, f of gamma 1 t1 and f of gamma 2 t2 are 1 to 1 near t1 and t2 and these functions describe arcs c1 and c2 intersecting at f dash c that is derivative at fc pictorially if you see that you consider real line and then you know you have a g1 g2 and intersecting at c1 the angle theta and then mapping f you know consider a mapping f and then you know the arcs c1 c2 at f dash at fc same angle is preserved so let us see you know you know the, from the same classical arguments u1 of t1 equal to c suppose say u1 of t1 equal to fc and u2 of t2 equal to fc for c equal to gamma 1 t1 gamma 1 t2 gamma 2 t2 and then you simply take the derivative taking the derivatives you get the u take the derivatives u1 u1 dash t1 equal to f dash c gamma 1 dash t1 which is not equal to 0 because f dash c not equal to 0 and gamma 1 dash t1 not equal to 0 similarly u2 dash t2 not equal to 0 then the arguments of you know u1 dash t1 and u2 dash t2 if you take the two arguments just expand the argument of that the argument of addition argument of the product equal to or uh, sum of the arguments uh, so uh, that implies the difference between that so you see that you know it is again multiple of 2 pi argument of gamma 1 dash t1 minus argument of gamma 2 dash t2 equal to i mean the sum of uh, these two argument and then the product on the and the term 2 pi n1 minus n2 so the function f preserves the same angle at c so this kind of uh, things uh, because that's uh, using that you know i proposed the technology called uh, lapo that is live streaming of live streaming of the proportionality of the objects the so same proportion of the objects what we see in the suppose we go to the, some historical monuments in india and then you know somebody sitting um, someone sitting in uh, some very far from india uh, watching you want to see some historical monuments you shoot a video and one one way is you shoot a video and then you show the video to the person or you transmit the video another way is to preserve the angles of the because the depth we don't know usually in the videos you know we don't know the depth you're standing at any monument in india you know you don't know and then also the feeling of uh, the act the live streaming live streaming that means you preserve the same uh, climatic condition i mean the, the the weather whatever you see the day night all these things you can preserve it because of using the drone technology and then using the math combining with the math uh, and then the angle preservations and then so i proposed that a technology and then um, jointly with my collaborator you know i my course we published together some articles so so we the, we the pro first proposal on this you know using how the information geometry combining with the conformal mapping uh, we can use using the data science collect a lot of data on the the monuments and then you know and improve our visual experience that we published you know this article in cell press just came in the month of august and then uh, i picked up a couple of uh, figures which i created for the article here for this uh, talk and then if you have the suppose say this you know this is uh, some scenery you want to see and you have this uh, photo and then uh, you know the <clears throat> you this is a live photo a comma b you know tourist locations and then you take a photo of a is actual location and you take a photo of that that's a b this is a photo of a and then um, and then you see when you see a photo you know you, you just see whatever you picture 
and then you know when you introduce the drone technology there the lapo that what i proposed if you put the, using the drones you measure that and then you see when you combine the uh, that if you shoot a video or a photo and then you combine with that with the video the drone technology there you see that uh, the lot of uh, changes occurred from this photo to this photo you see some new cars or the new traffic and then uh, the location of the clouds changed and the location of the sun changed from the A to C. So this kind of, this can be captured and then the, and then the night, day, night, it can improve the visualization. So the angles are preserved, angles are not changed, but then the, the current location, current uh, situation of the particular location as we can capture that. And then the, because of the depth and the curvature, everything there, the information of the various Various, you know, the proportionality object, proportionality of the objects are maintained. And then another picture I collected from the same article, just you know, more, um, more clearly. If you have some some sort of these sort of objects, any objects, you know, I just took it intentionally. Some mathematical type of math, mathematically looking shapes, geometrical looking shapes, and then you know what happens, you know, this curvature because of the, you know, if you don't measure properly, if the proportionality is not considered. Uh, and the drone location is not pro properly maintained. How that you know that gets uh, in a different uh, if the angle may, may angle preservation is not done. Uh, you see that there, that the images get distorted and uh, these the distance between uh, objects various objects look differently when you watch in the video. So you know the details can be seen in the article. So that's the application. You know in the modern day also we have we can have a lot of applications. Uh, we can uh, think of you know combining the information geometry of the curvature and then the Riemannian uh, metrics and then um, we can add the information about the angles which was missing there and then combined together we can have a visual experience we better visual experience as a modern application that's what the, the editor there picked as a house ideas uh, have um, i mean house ideas can be seen i mean uh, are, seeing, are seeing the modern day applications something like that so with that, I would like to uh, thank uh, once again the, uh, the organizers of ALAPS 2020. And uh, yeah, thanks for the attention and uh, questions are welcome.